Guys, welcome to our episode of the Gas Mask Guys, and today I'm going to go over the TF1 Gas Mask. Now, the TF1 Gas Mask is basically the Chinese remake of the GP5 Gas Mask. However, it has bigger eye lenses, better filters, and a plastic intake and exhale valve, which is actually a pretty good updation. It's much lighter than the GP5. It's more comfortable in ways than the GP5 because the rubber is a, a different sort of nice rubber. I don't know how to explain it, but it's nice and comfy. And, yeah, let's just get stuck into it. Now, I want to show you this filter. This filter is one of my most favorite filters, and I might do a video on it. This filter is designed, so this one's made in 2015, so it's still good to be used. This one is designed to protect from chemicals, tear gas, you know, the basics. And the cool thing is, look, you can see in here, I don't know if you can see that. That's charcoal, that black stuff. And you can actually unscrew this unscrew this and then put charcoal in activated carbon sorry so if you need to do that you could easily do that and then here here's the intake here's the intake here's the exhale exactly the same as deep five much better quality though the chinese did take their time in in uh remaking the gp5 i still don't know why they copied the design uh, considering that the gp5 is so dated but i guess it's because it's cheap and it's a reliable like um, design, especially for an industrial worker. So the Russians designed the GP-5 for military service as the SHM-41 was. Okay, now they didn't really make it for military service, but you get what I mean. They used it for cadets. Um, they used it for civilian use, stuff like that. So it was expected to go up against NBC or biochemical elements, so really dangerous stuff like sarin, you know, just the scary stuff. You know, the stuff like Nova Gas off of Black Ops 1, which actually I've been playing lately. It's a still really good game. But yeah, anyway, this filter, instead, this mask and filter instead is designed purely for industrial reasons. So instead of having to deal with all that nasty stuff, it's still nasty stuff, but it won't like completely kill you. I don't know how to say that. You get what I mean. So, they designed this for more civilian use than military or cadet use, and it's been around since. I've seen these in riots all over um, the world. I've seen these in um, makeshift milita uh, militia groups, where they need a cheap mask to supply their troops. And, besides that, yeah, and in China, of course, it's by uh, industrial workers. It's a really nice mask. Uh, we're going to take a quick look inside. This is going to be a very short video. As you can see, exact same copy of the GP5, except for, you see these little lenses here? Let's see if I can get a good, yeah, there's, that's a good enough focus. There's no rim here to put anti-fog lenses, and as an industrial worker, you probably don't need anti-fog lenses, especially up north where it's nice and cold, so, I don't know, it's just, uh, that's not a feature of this mask. And now, like I said, the eyepieces are much bigger, thus, uh, you have more view around you, you can see more. I'll just quickly grab a GP5 to show you the lens side. Okay, belay that. I don't have any GP5s. I lent them to a friend. I have my original one in long-term storage, but I'm too lazy to get that out, so deal with it. Anyway, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll show you guys some other time. Yeah, anyway, this is the TF1. Just a quick video for you guys. Just showing you what it's... Uh, just basically why I talked about Now, I'll go into um, what I would buy this for. I might as well do that. I would buy this for cosplays, um, if you need to put, like, insect repellent in the yard or something, or if you have to deal with the, if you're a farmer, <clears throat> stuff like that. I would buy it for those reasons, simply because it's a cheap mask, um, it's not so cheap anymore, but in the past it was cheap, and, um, it depends on where you live, the availability of it. So, like, let's say you live in the U.S., there are, like, thousands of them there. If you live in Australia, there's, like, two, I think. No, I'm kidding. There's probably like maybe less than 100 in Australia because TF1s are rarely exported here. GP5s are more often. <coughs> yeah. So I'll buy it for those reasons. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'm going to catch you guys later. I've got to go uh, do some things. Hopefully we'll have another video up for you guys shortly. And yeah, enjoy your day, guys. See ya.